back, so I just got back from a quick hike. I went to the uh, Phoenix Mountain Reserve on 40th Street. It was a great, great hike. Uh, uh, I'm in a great mood, so I'm gonna make this video. Five reasons why you should carry a fixed blade. Also, because I bought a new blade, new, new knife from a custom maker. He's not famous or anything, but he made this blade for me. And uh, I'm really happy with it. And I'm telling you, uh, five reasons today why you should carry a fixed blade and talk a little bit at the end of why you should probably order a custom blade from a, a custom fixed blade from a maker Reason number one You can look like a lumberjack at Arby's. No, I'm just kidding <laughs> uh, That picture was taken at Arby's though uh, The first reason is people are always looking for like the strongest locking mechanism on their folders and guess what? The best locking mechanism is no locking mechanism. A fixed blade is gonna be your strongest blade. Uh, reason number two: uh, most of them are left-handed friendly. <laughs> most people are always looking for like, uh, you know, left hand and right hand whatnot. But you know, fixed blades are both right and left-handed. No need to uh, be picky on those. Um, they are less maintenance uh, all you have to do is sharpen them um, some fixed blades obviously if they're high carbon you can oil up the blade but a lot of folders are high carbon as well and they require more maintenance especially if they're on um, ball bearings um, washers not so much but you still need to go in there and clean them once in a while a fixed blade you never have to do that uh, emergency batani <laughs> now I'm just kidding but really like the best hard to use blade is always the blade so you just pull it out of your sheath and it's there for you if you need it for a fast situation or even you know tactical reasons a fixed blade is going to be your go to um, now <laughs> that we have that taken care of like a lot of people just EDC fixed blades uh, the reason I EDC this fixed blade is because I really wanted to see why people were doing it so I went ahead and I bought one but and this is the reason why I bought one uh, that is custom uh, they're relatively inexpensive when it comes to custom fixed blades just because you know there's not a whole lot that can go wrong there's not a whole lot um, work put into it I don't want to say that because this blade a lot of work went into it like the double pins for a total of six pins that was the maker uh, taking a little bit of artist uh, liberties and he just went ahead and did that but I did ask for the pocket wood and uh, that red pocket wood and that green pocket wood I did ask for that and then he went ahead and did those pins. They they came out beautiful. I really like this blade. Um, but the guy that made this blade charged me ninety dollars. And I've been carrying around. I've been using it as an EDC. So at work, you know, I cut rope and boxes mm -hmm. down packages all the time. And so this is what I've been using. And today I took it out to the yard. Did a lot more batoning than this. Uh, when I start a fire today. Uh, get some marshmallows going it should be fun um, but the reason why I think you guys should get a custom fixed blade is because it's not too expensive and you can really get what you want out of them just find a guy that is you know has reasonable prices and that you can trust I won't um, recommend this guy because there's a, some things about this blade that um are not a hundred percent for example there's no finger choil and i mean i didn't ask for one but i thought that'd be like something standard you know to add a finger choil uh the other thing the sheath was a little crappy uh it's starting to come apart so i have to work with that i might make a kydex uh sheath for it upload a video about it um so that's why i won't recommend this guy but there's so many more guys out there that do great great work and honestly for $90 I'm extremely happy with this knife because I can put in a finger choil myself and then I can 
honestly I can make a sheath uh, with Kydex, I think I can, and it'd be perfect. But anyway, those were the reasons, you know. You, if you guys want to EDC a fixed blade, I think it's a great idea, and I'm not gonna keep doing it <laughs> until I get a, a nice Kydex sheath. And I'm actually the other thing I bought this is because I am gonna go out in the wilderness here pretty soon, and it's gonna be a good excuse to tell my wife that I needed a fixed blade. But anyways, you know, um, I really want to do more reviews, guys. Obviously, I can't review a custom fixed blade, uh, but I'm working on it, you know, for some financial reasons. I haven't been able to buy stuff, but, you know, I'm just, but if you guys made it all the way to the end, like and subscribe, and stay tuned for new upcoming reviews and new top five videos.